Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Rad Kutarot and uh, in this whole video uh, you are going to see the um, weekly tarot readings August 3rd to August 9th 2020 in terms of career and in terms of relationship uh, and uh, with that being said, a few notes about the show before uh, you see the reading itself you can skip forward if you want to but um, you also, if you do like the way I read, you can participate for uh, my tarot classes uh, in there. I'm going to explain you uh, how to read tarot cards in generally uh, with the spread that I'm using in this very video. And uh, the first, the beginner's tarot class is now available uh, recorded, which means that you can take it on your own pace. And in there you're going to find 12 hours of content, explanation, I I'd like to think a profound explanation of the major arcana and how to use them in terms of career, in terms of relationship or in terms of a looking for career or looking for a relationship and as well how they stand in the spread itself. And at the end as well you're going to have a few examples how to read just only with the major arcana. That being said, the you're going to be pretty set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings uh, when you finish the course and uh, yeah if you do want as well personal reading uh, you can go to my website uh, which is listed here into the description uh, of this video and uh, there pretty much on the very front page you're gonna find a full list of my services and as well their pricing the course can be purchased from uh, the same website going into the tarot classes section so that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show Right, so uh, let's have a look what uh, Leo are to experience throughout the upcoming week. So the first thing that we're going to have a look at Leo, uh, that will be uh, their relationship and uh, in generally their love life. Let me shuffle and uh, see what we got. Uh, so first one uh, is going to be the Six of Swords, uh, followed by uh, the Three of Cups. Moving next, uh, that is going to be the Ace of Wands. And the last one we do have for you guys, that is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. Um, so uh, for Leo, this week is going to be uh, rather a bit strange. I mean, they're going to see rather strange behaviors. Uh, from their partner or from their person of interest or in general. Uh, that is uh, due to the fact that we do have the Three of Cups here sitting into the second position of this spread and that literally what, what it means in terms of uh, relationship. It is that the vision you do have and the, uh, say the ideas or the experiences you, you want to have in terms of your love life are not exactly the same as with the person that you want to have those experiences with right and so uh, it all comes to that throughout the week um can you kind of bend your expectations and try their version of events uh which is gonna help them see your version of events as well or are you going to be stubborn in general okay now in the grand scheme of things uh, this behavior or rather like these influences are not going to have a huge impact upon your love life unfolding forward so uh, uh, that being said the worst thing that may happen from that week it is that you pretty much are going to miss some um gaining for enterprises if you will and and good uh, and good time or rather like spending a good time with somebody but as the week progresses and you move toward the end of the week, things are going to normalize um, and they're going to be set back into normal. And uh, by the end of the week, you can expect to have the harmonious, uh, harmonious flow there into your relationships uh, in terms of ongoing relationship or even in terms if you do have a, a person of, of a, a interest. So how really exciting the week is going to be? Uh, it does depend, Leo, on your, uh, how can I say, on how open-minded you are, if you will. Are you willing to uh, traverse a threshold toward activities that under normal normal circumstances you would not participate into okay highly advisable that you do because according to the cards once again they are to be rather very gaining for enterprises and as well they will help you to pretty much boost the um 
the passion in between you and your wife or your husband, in between you and your person of interest. So if you don't, if they don't pay attention to you, for example, right now, or they don't give you much of an attention, contributing to their activities will redirect more attention towards you. So that so that's one way. Uh, how you can pretty much mesmerize somebody. Now, in terms of those who are completely single, they have no person of interest whatsoever. Uh, what we can see here within those cards, it is a, um, how do you say it? A, an interaction, if you will, with uh, somebody that will be rather very different from what you are. Um, and uh, you both can add into each other's life. However, the process is going to be very, very long. I mean, unfoldment this week, it is out of the question. That is not going to be love from a first sight. That is not going to be straight away excitement. The best, at best, you both are going to see each other interests, in, interesting to a one another. Nothing more than that for the time being, okay? But should you decide to explore each other and each other's life, things can happen in between you two, okay? I mean, because at the end, we do have a potential for a harmonious flow in a, a, in a relationship in between you two. So that was in terms of relationship. Now let's have a look uh, what you have in terms of a uh, career. Right. Oh my God. Right. So the first one is going to be uh, the five of pentacles. And the second one, we do have the king of wands, uh, followed by uh, the queen of swords. And the last one here that we do have for you guys, that will be the strength card that, that appears at the end. So a bit rough in terms of career. I mean, straight away, that is pretty much a narrow reading. What I mean is that it has a, a pretty much one story whatsoever. So that this week, the upcoming week, you are to face high demands, okay? Say your boss or your supervisor is going to pretty much expect a lot from you. Uh, and the worst is that they're going to present it in a such a way that either you do it or either you pack your things and, you know, you are free to go elsewhere. Uh, that's not going to be entirely the case, okay? So even if you do not perform as well as expected, it's highly unlikely that you are going to be laid off, okay? But it is just the expectations or rather like the presentation of an ultimatum is going to put you in a rather unrest, okay? The, the, the very least, you're going to feel yourself afraid for your job, okay? Um, or that your job is going to diminish deteriorate and etc etc now uh the week itself is going to be rather quite active in the sense of that there will be a lot of things that you need to attend now uh and those things are going to be rather a problems for the company not yours but as you are hired of the company pretty much it is your duty to resolve those problems and they are going to be everywhere okay so for one or another reason, either your department, your project or the company you're working at, it is going into a not a good times. It's not going to be a good week for it. And uh, it's the pressure isn't going to be just only upon you. OK, it's going to be also upon your a uh, co-workers. And here comes to uh, here comes the uh, the criteria rather like the condition, you know, how well you get along with your co-workers, because according to those cards, uh, you don't have to face those things alone, okay? I mean, you can pretty much consolidate into a teamwork and together work over those problems that are to be brought to you, that uh, you are to be expected to resolve. Uh, uh, from another standpoint here, we do have one specific individual aside from your boss that uh, pretty much has the expertise and has the capabilities to resolve 
the tasks that you are to be given with and that person if not anything else will give you direction, directions what you should do in order to end up prevailing at, uh, at the end of the week. Uh, nonetheless, uh, it seems that again, as with your relationship, things stabilizes, okay? At the end of the week here with the strength cards, the many problems that you are to face are gonna narrow to a one specific goal or toward a one specific root of the problem that everybody is going to start working upon it. So very important here throughout the week for you, Leo, is to maintain your mental clarity and your strength in spirit. Diving into emotional distress is only going to make things work, uh, worse, guys. Now, those who are looking for a job, unfortunately for you, I don't have pretty good news, guys. Uh, it looks like that throughout the week, uh, I can't say it other way around. Uh, you're not going to match the expectations of the people that you are going to have an interview with. Okay, But that being said, because we do have the strength card at the end, uh, that uh, should not deprive you of stop trying. Okay, I mean, you shouldn't kind of like abate your enthusiasm and your courage of stop trying. In fact, whatever you try to get the job at throughout the week should be your main goal, okay? And maybe you're not gonna get the job this week, but who knows, a couple of weeks from now, maybe it will be your time. So that being said, Leo, this was your a weekly tarot readings, guys. Just give me a second to uh, gain control over my camera. So these were your weekly tarot readings. Hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them. And uh, with that being said, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.